Good morning, y'all. It's Coco and I coming at you from Fredericksburg, Texas. Well, 8 o'clock on Monday morning. If there is anything I was just thinking that I love more than a Monday morning, it's a rainy Monday morning, and we have got rain and dark clouds and all that stuff I really like. Uh, well, okay, one thing I like more is a rainy Monday morning where I don't have a lot of like, client appointments so that I can wear sweats or yoga pants as they are called in popular culture but I don't think what I'm wearing is called really yoga pants they're like adidas something or another what are yoga pants more like those kind of bell bottomy kind of sweatpants I don't like bell bottom sweatpants maybe because I grew up you know in the 70s born in the late 60s and so I don't want to be part of the bell bottoms again drink here but I don't do yoga either so I don't know what these are called but anyway these are just some little adidas things or as they say in Europe adidas did you know that in England, when you're listening to uh, commercials, they'll say, I brought to you by Adidas. So that's what we're wearing today. I want to make my dog's eyes to order. Large Diet Coke, please. One away for the window, thank you. Thank you. So, <clears throat> I have spent the weekend um, in my spare time doing some of the things I enjoy, which is kind of nerdy, but I really like reading up and watching videos and courses on social media and using social media of course the i purchased a course this weekend by the amazing um jenna kutcher don't know if y'all know jenna kutcher but she's incredible on instagram as well as pinterest speaks a lot on both is also a fabulous wedding photographer in see, wisconsin but i think she might have moved to minnesota recently i think she did anyway i bought jenna's um the instagram lab course and i also bought her the pinterest uh, the in uh, the pinterest lab course and haven't quite finished that one yet. But the Instagram Lab course was amazing. I got so much great value that I want to be able to parse down for you guys. Then I spent my shower as usual listening to social media examiners <clears throat> um, podcast, which is incredible if you like to really keep up with a lot of social media. But this is what's occurred to me over recent days. You know, I'm always looking into what my uh, topic should be in general in life in terms of where can I bring the most value and not just be noise in a crowded space. So my thought is, I'm spending a lot of time, because I'm kind of a nerdy researcher, student kind of person, digging deep into various channels. It seems like you can never dig deep enough. Every few days there's more to learn, right? I mean, it's, it's absolutely overwhelming sometimes. So what I'm thinking is, I'm listening to social media podcasts, vlogs, courses, in depth. The uh, the Instagram course I did this weekend was set, set up to be a five week course, but once I got going, I wanted to finish it, so I went through the entire thing. My thought is, there are a lot of folks out there who don't make their living from social media, don't particularly have it as a hobby for their business, but they know they need to know more about it to improve their business. Say you have an electric company, a plumbing company, a little dress shop on the square. Large state huh? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. On the square, let's say. So you know you need to use social media. But oh, you don't want to devote an hour to a day to these courses. So my thought is, I'm going to be doing this anyway. So what I'm going to do is kind of break down and unpack for you what you really need to know. The good stuff. The stuff that applies to mom and pop shops, it can apply to you for your own personal as well, but if you are a realtor or if you're a small shop owner or uh, you're in a trade and you know that you could improve your business by having just a little bit better presence on social media, then but you don't have an hour to a day to dive in, then what I want to do is come up with ways to tell you the latest in addition to finding some time hacks that we can use. For example, you probably realize that this little mini episode show that I do called The Drive, the reason I started this was like, how much more time in my day do I have to do something? Well, I'm driving to work anyway. I'm really not adding any time. I'm just chatting along as if we were riding in the car together and sharing some of my thoughts. And every once in a while, you guys are kind enough to share some of your thoughts back and let me know what you're thinking as well. So I think that is going to be an area of usefulness. Um, I spent, well, uh, Social Media Examiner's uh, podcast, for example, which is amazing, is an hour long and it's once a week. And they 
bring you up to speed on everything that happened in the past week in social media. So if Instagram has ro rolled out a new feature or Snapchat has taken away a feature or if they are promoting a feature that's going to be coming, that's what Social Media Examiner does for an hour. And that's just one of the podcasts I listen to. So my thought is most of that stuff is really pretty high level and is not going to be used by the vast majority because their target audience is social media marketers, people who make their living doing this for a job, which is not the majority if any of us. For us, it's a sideline and it's a very increasingly important sideline. So we want to not ignore it in our business, but we don't have all day. So. I can tell you I've done some research on Instagram this week, and as you can imagine, since I did uh, Jenna Kutcher's The Instagram Lab course all weekend, and came up with some great time-saving tools for pre-scheduling your content. One of them that Jenna has been um, recommending for a while uh, is Plan, P-L-A-N-N. -N. Plan allows you to basically lay out your grid. You basically would go into your camera, your Dropbox, whatever you've got, and upload all the photos that you're considering uploading over the course of the next week, month, you pick. Two, three days, it doesn't matter. Then you lay them out in a grid, and I can show you this on screen later on when I'm at the office at some point, I'll do a video. And you can say, oh, I've got three light colored photos over here, and I've got dark photos over here, it doesn't look good. You tap and hold and scoot them around until your grid, the way it's going to line up, looks good. And then you can post from there. You would think, well, that sounds like a lot of effort. But what I have learned, hello, oh, thank you, sir. What I have learned during this time is Instagram. Here's the difference between Facebook and Instagram. Facebook, for me, is a running commentary. I can post beautiful photos. I can post silly photos. It doesn't really matter. I can do albums. I can just do text. Whatever. Anything goes to me on Facebook because it's kind of the running story of your life. <clears throat> um, Instagram is a magazine. Instagram is all about your only, typically, there, there are a few scrolling carousels, but mostly you post one photo and it needs to be beautiful and it needs to represent your brand. And whether that brand is your business or whether it's you as a person, you want there to be a beautiful look of consistency and something that when people see that grid, they go, oh, this is inspiring. As Jenna says, you want to inspire people to a better life. Um, so yeah, it's aspirational living. You want to inspire yourself to live your best life at the same time. So it's not that you're being fake, it's that you're putting the best you have out there. Now. Instagram has more and more become two part. It is two parts in that it is your beautiful grid, which is your magazine, the story of your life and of your brand, but it's also Instagram stories. My daughter Celie was riding with me a couple days ago and she goes, man, I, I'm so mad they did that. That was Snapchat's thing. Why did they take that? And I said, well, you know, good point. I get it that you're, you know, taking up for somebody else's creative idea but I said you know what Instagram actually needs stories more than any other platform I believe because Instagram judges harshly let's say Instagram is all about you, you better be a magazine it better be really pretty or no one's going to be interested in your content so you need a place where you don't have just one photo a day or sometimes a week that's just all beauty you want to show what goes on in your real life right like the beauty of Facebook that's what you do in your Instagram stories. That's where I could post just a snapshot of the rain and that would not fly on my grid. That would not be near pretty enough photo what I have going here, but it would be great in Instagram stories. So the more we work to grow that as a, as a mixed product, the more successful our Instagrams are going to become. So if you only are willing to do two areas of social media, the stats do not lie. It's Facebook and Instagram. Facebook is one demographic. Um, from people in their 20s on up, not many people younger than that will look at it. Under that, it's all Instagram all day long. Even Snapchat is really losing some of its traction, I believe. Twitter is one strange animal. I can't do Twitter. So kind of the way I am looking at it is, you know what? I think we're all a little bit stressed about having too many platforms, right? Am I the only one? Am I the only person out there that feels like, 
uh, I've got maybe a company, maybe some of my work. I've certainly got my personal brand, my personal self, and I've got like six platforms I should be on. It's too much. How many of you feel that way? I, I know you do, because I do. So what we're going to focus on, the, we'll talk about the others as we go along, but our priorities are going to be Facebook and Instagram, Instagram and Facebook. That's where it's going to be, and we want to master those at a deeper, deeper level. So that's what we're going to work on, but this is called social media for busy people. So my whole point is we want to do it in the least amount of time possible. We want to do it as efficiently as possible. So I talked to you a little about the app plan, but I think I found a better one called, and I do hate the name, Planoly. That's so hard to say. They said it used to be called Planogram. How much better was Planogram? But apparently it's Planoly now. And I want to say it's in around 15 bucks a month, so they're, they're fairly similarly priced, but well worth it, I believe. What's the big difference with Planoly? One thing, you can do it on your desktop or your laptop. Now, I don't know about you, but I type really fast on the keyboard, and I do not type super fast on my phone. So I don't like creating long uh, posts and hashtags and all the things that need to go into a good Instagram post on my phone. It takes too long. Um, but I can schedule them out on my big, huge Mac in my office, which I will take a, a time to show y'all later. I don't think you'll really like it. Uh, very efficient. And I can schedule a week's worth of content, a month's worth of content. Then I can go look at it in one place very simply. And I can type like the wind. And I can hashtag. I can save groups. Of, okay, how cool is this? I can save groups of hashtags. Whereas I could do a motivation set of hashtags. I can do a Princess Coco set of hashtags. And these are going to be the tags that I use generally when I go into those areas. And then I just copy and paste. So simple. So great. And we're not going to put the hashtags in the body of our Instagram post. Maybe one, maybe two. But we're going to put them in the first comment. We're allowed up to 30 hashtags on Instagram. But usually 10 to 15 is max without starting to look a little bit silly. So we can talk hashtag... Um, theory soon. I've spent a lot of time diving into it in recent weeks and so I'm going to have some exciting things to share with you guys that hopefully will move the needle in your business. And you know what? If you just use it for your personal life, uh, I think you're going to uh, find a little bit more efficiency there too so you can get back to work and, uh, and have a little more time for your personal life as well. So that's about it for this rainy Monday. I am super, super excited to be here with you guys. Look forward to talking to you tomorrow, Lord willing. And just uh, pulling in and signing off and saying see y'all soon. Bye-bye.